So I thought it'd be fun to revisit something that a lot of people don't even know about. So back in 2016, I was name dropped on an episode of Meet the Press with Chuck Todd. Chuck Todd referenced the Humanist Report podcast and me while he was interviewing Bernie Sanders. So back then, uh, I was much, much lesser known. I had less than 100,000 subscribers. I think we had like 50 or 60,000 at the time, which is still quite a bit, but much less compared to now. So I never expected the mainstream media to ever pick up on anything that I was doing. But yet out of the blue, somebody says, hey, Mike, uh, I think this was on Twitter. They let me know, hey, Mike, you were just on Meet the Press. And I'm like, no, I wasn't. What? What does that even, what does that mean? And they talk about how I was name dropped. Come to find out there was an article written by Alex Seitzwald of NBC News where he references a particular video that I made back in 2016. And that article, which references me, was then talked about on Meet the Press. So let me get to the article first. There's just a couple of paragraphs where I'm cited. And then afterwards, we'll watch the clip. And I want to tell you my thoughts on this because honestly, I know it might seem weird, but this made me a lot more cynical about politics. And I'll explain to you my reasoning. So this is what Alex Seitzwald wrote about me. Other progressives have been even more critical. Mike Figueredo, host of the Progressive Humanist Report podcast, tore into the Senator Bernie Sanders for abandoning Canova. Quote, I can't rationalize this. I can't defend you here, Bernie. This is indefensible, he said Saturday. The fact that you're ditching him and obviously distancing yourself from him for some reason, but yet are going to campaign for Hillary Clinton is absurd to me. Bernie Sanders, you are supposed to be the shining example. If you sell out, we're fucked, he said. Now, Chuck Todd brings up this article and he gives you some additional context. Um, I remember him really butchering my name, but watching it again, he actually did OK. But uh, take a look uh, and take a look at Bernie's reaction to uh, this article where they quote me criticizing Bernie Sanders. You know, Senator, one of your supporters, uh, Mike uh, Figueredo, uh, hosts a progressive uh, called Humanist Report podcast. And he was really upset at you personally because he actually thought you abandoned Mr. Canova. He thought, where were you? You didn't campaign for him. Uh, and he even said, look, that feeling you felt when Elizabeth Warren abandoned you and chose to run away from you during the Massachusetts primary, that's what Tim Canova is feeling right now. What do you say to him or any other Sanders supporters <laughs> well, that I feel as if you didn't do enough? Our, well, you know, there are a lot of things happening in this country, things happening in my own state and work that I have got to do. I can't do everything. But I would say that uh, our supporters, as I understand, that contributed about $600,000 uh, to Mr. Canova's campaign. Uh, that is a very significant contribution. Uh, I think what you are going to be seeing uh, in the weeks and months to come, uh, Chuck, is me playing an active role, not only trying to make sure that Donald Trump does not become president of the United States, uh, but that, in fact, we create a movement for this campaign and for the future, which creates a mm -hmm. government in which our government responds to the needs not of the Koch brothers right. and wealthy campaign contributors, but the ordinary people. It's so cringeworthy to watch that, if I'm being perfectly honest, because things have changed so much since, you know, I, I made that video that they were talking about. Tim Canova, for example, uh, based on what I, I've seen, is now just a MAGA chud. And I get it. He was kind of fucked over by the Democratic Party establishment. But still, if you let your hatred for Democrats make you... I guess, a supporter of the Republican Party by default and Donald Trump, then I feel like you're kind of a shallow person and you don't really have a core political ideology, like something like that. Hatred for one party shouldn't automatically drive you into the arms of another party with seemingly an opposite ideology when it comes to, you know, a number of things. Uh, but either way, so that made me cynical because I thought, listen, I'm this small YouTuber at the time. And I thought that all the shit that I was talking, I, I mean, I was just farting in the wind. Nobody in mainstream media would be able to smell it. But around that time, I also found out that I think it was Joanne Reed was tweeting about me. And I don't remember what she said. I couldn't find the tweet, but it was about how like I was a litmus tester or something with Medicare for all and how I was unreasonable and I wouldn't accept any politician that didn't support Medicare for all. I'm, I might be messing up the timeline, but basically, it was weird to me that MSNBC and mainstream media 
they picked up one of my videos and it made me cynical because I thought, listen, I've been making points. I've been constructively criticizing Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party establishment now for quite some time. And yet the only time I am cited on mainstream media is when they conveniently want to construct this narrative about how Bernie Sanders is bad and progressives, even they hate Bernie Sanders now. And to me, I thought that that was just so nefarious. You know, I thought, why aren't they using my other videos where I call Hillary Clinton a corrupt corporate ghoul? Why aren't they, you know, using my other videos where I criticize then DNC chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz for, you know, uh, scheduling debates on weekends before major holidays and trying to give Hillary Clinton this unfair advantage? You know, it just it made me realize, OK, no matter how small you are, these assholes are they're watching and they're waiting to use you to help serve their narrative. So at that point in time, it made me cynical, but also a lot more astute. And I realized at that point, I have to be a lot more nuanced and um, really not let them do that. When I do a video where I'm criticizing a progressive figure, I have to add lots of caveats, right? I have to draw comparisons between them and the standard corporate Democrat. And, you know, it was something that was just really weird to me. And I feel bad because the only thing uh that bernie sanders has seen of me is me talking shit of him so all around you know you would think that oh wow I i've made it like they referenced me on uh, msnbc i guess my opinion is somewhat important right but i didn't feel that way like i, I felt like these motherfuckers are using me to criticize bernie sanders and i was being critical of bernie sanders and i didn't like that you know he wasn't going to bat for Tim Canova, who at the time was running against Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who at the time was ostensibly progressive. So, you know, I still am of the belief that if you are a lawmaker and you have a lot of influence, you should be trying to help progressives get elected. But, you know, it's still very strange to, you know, see the one time where I like criticize Bernie, that's when they, they bring it to his attention. So all around really awkward and honestly cringeworthy revisiting this. But I, I thought I would talk about this because Farron Cousins, shout out to him. He posted an outtake where he messed up Chuck Todd's name and he said, uh, Tuck Chod or something like that. And it reminded me of the time where I thought that Chuck Todd fucked up my name, where he name dropped me on Meet the Press. Although watching it again, he really didn't do that bad. So I don't know why I misremembered that so much. But either way, Chuck Todd name dropped me on Meet the Press back in 2016. And it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. I was a little bit triggered by that, to be honest. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad, very sad. I'm unsubscribing.